it had money troubles also tonight. Bella Cons Bay lifts arrive. Blackpool Football Club's owners under pressure as a creditor closes in. Chester. Now, the battle between the owners of Blackpool Football Club and their former business partner moved up a gear today when bailiffs were sent to the football stadium. Yeah, Owen Oyston's offices are based at Bloomfield Road and Valeri Bellicon is taking steps to recover millions of pounds owed to him. Our reporter Eunice Muller is outside the ground for us this evening. So, Eunice, what exactly happened today? Well, this legal tussle between multi-millionaires, on the one hand, Owen Oyston and his son Carl, and on the other, Valeri Bellicon, reached the steps of Bloomfield Road, because as well as the club, Owen Oyston owns a number of other business assets here, including the, the hotel behind me. And today, Valeri Bellicon sent representatives and bailiffs here as part of this process to recover millions of pounds. They Valerie Bellacon. And Kernmore Park Hall Estate, which he also owns, and which is said to be worth a significant amount of money. All of this, of course, to recover millions of pounds. How have things actually got to this point, Eunice? Well, if you recall, last year in court, the Oyston family were accused of using Blackpool Football Club as their personal cash machine during that uh, Premier League season and subsequent years. And what happened in court, there was a civil action by Valeri Bellacon against Owen Oyston and his son Carl. And the judge said that the family had abused their majority powers to the detriment of Mr. Bellacon and also the club. And there had to be a financial buyout and they had to pay £31 million. Until now, only £10 million has been paid. Blackpool fans are just desperate to get the club back and this outstanding debt to Valeri, it's, it's been rumbling on for such a while now. Um, we are aware that Mr Oyston missed the last payment deadline. Um, it's all gone a bit quiet since then, so this is clearly um, some action is happening at last. Well, we approached the Oysters for comment, but they haven't responded. But in a statement on behalf of Valeri uh, Bellacon, uh, his advisers say that Mr Bellacon's actions being taken by bailiffs in Blackpool are not directed at Blackpool Football Club Limited or the football-related assets. Mr Bellacon continues to have the interests of the club at heart. So what we're seeing today is a warning shot from Valeri Bellacon that he's serious when it comes to recovering that money. Eunice, thanks very much.